What she believes is, you know, it's her, it's her calling. You know, she calls it her way of life. To look at it in the area and where she's from, it was kind of, I could say it's kind of hard because, you know, trying to teach it in this area where there's like gang and violence, you know, that it takes bravery. This is the most frowned upon area in San Francisco because Bayview is considered like a, it's not a very recognized community. You basically call us like we're the minority of San Francisco. My brother's the way he is. He stayed in the house. He ain't part that. I already lost one brother by the gun. I don't need another one. I'm so glad he's just into music. My name is Belinice Crystal Fatawi. My parents, uh, my dad is Kurisi Masi Fatawi. My mom's name is Penina Fatawi. Born and raised in uh, America, Samoa. I was born and raised here, San Francisco, California. I grew up what they call the projects. First I grew up in Dover Rock, and then I came up here to West Point. And been here ever since. It's crazy, like, I'm, I'm afraid to walk out of my house. Like, you know, there's some, when I walk out of my house, I pray every day, especially for my baby. You know, I don't even let her go play outside. That's how bad it is. They shooting in broad daylight, like, me. I grew up in that shit, and that shit ain't cool. I seen so many people die, even my cousins. My brother died from that shit. So the big picture up there, obviously, is my brother. This is him right here. It's my brother right here. He was only 14. So I haven't yet put my dad up here. Hmm. I feel like if I put him up here, then it's true. I think it's part of the culture. It's like, yeah. It's more death than weddings. We lose people every day. My dad, he was like, like one of the first ones up here in West Point. He was, he was known in the community. He was, he used to always walk around and greet people and help people out. He talked to people and he always did for the community. I think that's where I get my little thing from, from my dad, helping people out, because that's what he loves to do. Like my dad used to always tell us, like, we need to know our culture, know who we are, where we come from. I grew up dancing. I learned it from both my parents. Like, every movement you do, it's a meaning. Yeah. All songs, I think that all the songs are history. Sometimes it's hard to stay within your culture in this type of environment. It's my all-time dream. We ain't got nowhere to practice. I have all these kids coming all the way over here where I live at together and we're dancing outside in front of my house. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen with these kids. People shooting them or not, that's why I need a space. So I guarantee my kids safety and all. We've been dancing with Nisa ever since I've seen her. so about, what, two, three years ago? And I feel like especially since she's also from the hood, like it, it's, it's a connection. More, yeah, thing. relatable. Like the people that you're teaching, it's like we all like take a village to raise a child type of thing. So it's like, and because you're from here, we're from here, it's like it's more personal. It's not like somebody else trying to come out to come here to teach us. I don't know. It's just a rest. You, you take it. I feel like sometimes it's like when you know that that type of stuff is happening, it only makes you want to do it more because it's like you see what you've been used to seeing, like people getting shot, like that's almost an everyday thing. Like that's not something that's like so shocking. Like it's like people get shot. So it's like, I would want to dance. That way I know I have opportunities for me in the future. I tried singing it at the funeral, but I couldn't even get up and talk. Everything 
everything I did in life, he was with me, supported me, and guided me. The last past few years, I've been doing everything without him, you know? So, that's like this club. It was me and him, you know? He was always doing stuff with me. And now, like, that's why it's a minor, minor setback for me, because every time I try to go further, like I said, our people got fear. I just stop, because I don't have nobody to, like, keep going, you know? Is he proud of me? Look at my daughter, I got a baby. You know, that's what I was telling my cousin that was in LA. I was like, he said, ooh, I wanna go see her because I've been hearing hella shit about West Point and Ma. And I was like, hey, you wanna be what? You wanna see what? You wanna see yourself running, trying to hide and shit? Like, that shit ain't the life. Nobody don't wanna be part of this life up here.